from my scrappy life and welcome back to my channel. This is a process video for Confessions of a Paper Attic Cup File Shop where I am going to be using this cup file. It is one of her Christmas like line but I am going to show you how you can use this particular one and turn it into more of a <clears throat> I would say spring summer type layout. So these are my three photos that I am going to be using. I am going to take these trees that are in here and I am going to deco foil them with the different colors of the new deco foil color harmony collections and I'm going to show you those but what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to make a scene. So this is um, Vicki Booten's mixed media foundation paper and I'm going to like draw like kind of like this like You'll kind of understand, but it's going to kind of like have mountains. And I'm going to take some of the um, new coloring from Tim Holtz, the color pencils, and just kind of play around with it. And then I'm going to take these little guys. So I am going to leave... <coughs> so I'm going to leave these guys on there, and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to deco foil those. And then I'm going to take this, and I want to kind of put it see if I can get it I wanna kind of like take distress distress these on and then you're gonna see how I'm gonna bring it all together so that it's like this goodness of greenery and trees and the collection that I'm gonna use along with it is um, Bella Boulevard's lakeside collection so let's kind of play around with this and see how this is gonna turn out for me we just got to go with the process. I have an idea of how this is going to look. I have it in my brain. So let's kind of bring this all together. I'm going to do the easy part first, which is getting these all down with the foiling stuff that we need, which is the transfer dual gel. You're going to see me take this and we're going to... We're going to take in each one of these... Ones are going to be with this so that I can put the trees on. So let's get that started first. Alright, so I am going to try to do my best to show you guys and talk you through everything. So I did do my deco foiling. The one thing that I should have used differently that I'm still learning is I probably should have used my pen on these little guys. But I do like the end result of a little bit of the foiling on these trees because the end result at the end when you see the still shots actually work out really well now you can tell like right there with just that one I don't really have a lot of foiling on it but it's okay I decided that I am going to make a like hill or like mountains if you want to say now you may not be able to see what I'm kind of doing here, but I'm taking the, the for me, the new Distress Oxide um, crayons. They're the watercolor crayons. And I'm actually just going to color in. I want the coloring in there first before I put down the watering. Now I know that this is kind of wiggling um, the page. That's why I only show you a little bit of it and then I come back with the full, with it all done before I paint. I'm taking three different colors and I just wanted that different color of of contrast while I'm like going through the hill. I did use just a regular pen that you see off to the side to draw my doodling lines and my hill and I don't mind if it's like what I want to say like bleeding because it's a hill like it's a couple hills. And a lot of the where the bleeding from the pen and the color tones uh, meet up is covered by my photos anyway due to me having three of them. I'm just going through and I did add the water. I just sprayed it on there. Now you can take a bowl and link it that way and get it to go where you're dropping a lot of the... The... Uh, color tones. Now I am taking my paintbrush and watering down the colors so that I can get these splatters. I really love how this turned out. I think it worked out really well. 
uh, my background. I achieved my background that I wanted and I wanted to add the white just so that it was a little bit murky. I didn't mind if it looked a little grungy looking. The reason why I picked out the lakeside from Bella Boulevard was because I found this la this tree uh, paper and it is just an outline. I duplicated this. Um, I bought everything twice. I am taking, um, and then that's like my background on my background, I should say. So once I am done with all those trees, I outlined all the trees, and then I'm coming in here and I'm outlining the stencil of the same cut file so that I have like little silhouettes to kind of put where I'm going to place these trees in the midst of all of these three photos that I have. Now these are the streams of one of mine. I'm just finishing up my camping photos that we um, that I started. I'm wanting to finish out before I bring out my next um, set. And this particular one is the very first um, trip that we did as a family when Josh got back from being deployed or what we call uh, a PCS move. But it was, you know, some people know it as deployment. They're different, but essentially same thing. I am placing them all on the different color tones and whatnot. So make sure that you go check out Confessions of the Paper Attic Cut File Shop. This one is a Christmas one, so it's an oldie but a goodie because you could treat it as a summer one too if you would like where it doesn't really truly have to be Christmas based. That's why I used it and I like that because of the just of what it is. They're just trees. They, they're not anything special to where you can't say that they're a Christmas tree. I did line the photos up or the photos up with the background paper so that it flows through as if I didn't cut the paper. And I'm going to be sorry for the glare, but there's nothing I can do. The one thing that I do know about deco foiling is you've got to deal with the glare while you're um, watching filming with this. There's nothing I can do about it. There's no way I can change that. So I'm placing these in different spots because this is out in the wilderness and I really love how this achieved this look. I did grab one of the color cast designs, uh, fall type, um, uh, thing that said fresh air that worked out wonderful for, um, this title cause it's the same green tones. And I really did as much monochromatic as I could, except for a few things like this, uh, cabin down below ends up having some blues. Um, I do add the blues up on top with this sun. I do end up switching out and I'll bring out that little guy right there. You'll see me move it and I'm going to place it right there. I felt like that would be perfect. Like it's another cabin, but it's a smaller tone than that one that's on the bottom. So it makes it look like it's, um, kind of in the distance. That's why I wanted these clusters of trees the way I did is because it makes it looks like the trees are getting smaller the further you go up the hills with the greenery. And it's pretty much all greens. I don't have a lot of blues in here, which is fine. I don't mind that at all. I do come in and add some little animals. I add a bear and I think a squirrel. Yeah, I add a squirrel and a bear. Just to add a little bit of something. And then I do add the fireplace or like the the fire. I do leave this stuff down below here. Um, I know it's a little bit off screen, but you'll see what I'm... I've got that going on down below. I did add... I will add the blue... The little dots that you see up there, you'll see me add the blues. Um, make sure that you like and subscribe. The still shots are coming up. I hope that you guys are all staying safe. Have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.